Hello, good evening. Uh, this is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I'm going to show you how to create subsets of your data using calculated tables in Power BI. So let me show you what I mean. So here we have a, a dashboard that shows uh, leads capture using Google Analytics. Um, I will not go through the dashboard. I will do it some other time. I'm still uh, working a little bit on it. Uh, but uh, this is a good example for just how to get data sets or sub data from your tables. So in this dashboard, what you can see are all the leads capture for your website for the entire for all your visitors so you will see uh, the visitors from uh, the US and South America from Africa from India everything and if you are a global company and working at the headquarters that would be probably very good and awesome to have but if you are a smaller company or you are acting locally these might prevent you actually from digging into the data that is important to you. So what I would do is to, for example, if I have my business in Sweden, I would do an exact copy of this and use Sweden as the only data available. And you can think, oh, okay, but you can actually put a filter on it. I could add a filter and then you select by country. But again, e having too much data is sometimes it's not always a good thing. I mean, this uh, I'd like to have like this kind of focus dashboards for specific things that will keep you on track. And I think the ideal case for this it will be to actually have a Swedish leads dashboard because that's where probably I could get all most of my new customers. So to do that, what we're going to do is get the leads table, which is this one. And we're going to create a subset of this. And it's a leads table of customers common exclusively from Sweden. Just an example. If you're in Spain, you're Spain or whatever country you are. So to do that, we will click on modeling and then new table. And let's call this Leeds Sweden, for example. And then we're going to filter. And we're going to filter the Leeds table. And we are going to filter by country. Now, I don't have country on my leads table. I only have city ID. That's why I have this uh, geography table here. So I cannot filter directly on country on these. I have to go and look here for which country and then return it back. So for that, I will use a function called related and then country where Sweden is the value. And here you have an exact copy of the lead stable, but only for Swedish customers. Now, remember I told you that there is no country here? There's actually no country, there's only city ID. So how do I know that this was done correctly? Well, one way to do it is you could actually create a new column. And then here you call related and then you write, yeah, sure. Before that, we have to, when, when we create the, um, the new table, we have to create the relations too, because they are not created automatically. So CTID goes with CTID and date goes with date. There you go. So now we can write that formula. So that will be country. 
So we, this column will do is you will go to the our geographical table and return the country value for every city ID. You can see it now. So let's do it. So see it? So if we've done correctly the formula for the table, then this should be only Sweden. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah is only Sweden. Awesome, isn't it? So once you check that, remove the column because it will only take space in your Power Model, Power BI model, and this is not necessary. You know, and you're convinced that this is Sweden. So one of the things that you should use is a uh, calculated table uh, that is extremely useful is to see. Um, if your tax calculations are correct, or, or how can I say this is to see if um, if the filters that you put in on your tax calculations, if they are working as you expected, uh, it is not the primary probably goal for this, but it's definitely definitely a really cool trick to use. So, for example, by let's say that we would like to calculate the number of users uh, where the country is Sweden in the leads table then we will okay I would like to filter by country Sweden you know that Sweden is not in the leads table so it's quite good to be able to write the filter part of it here and check like we did now it's like oh okay Sweden is there cool as an example let's say that we would like to filter by Sweden and network domain till it's war. So to test if we're writing this correctly, network domain till it to so and now we go and check is it only till it's two or and it's only till it's two. So that means that my filter is actually working as expected. If I remove this, then other network domains sh should show up, and they do. So that's excellent. So I really, really recommend it if you're creating filters or other types of, you know, context uh, formulas where you would like to know exactly what tax is doing. Just come here and check it because you would it will return you the table and then you will will, will be able to see if it's been filtering as you expect it to do it or if something is wrong with the formula. I have a case uh, just a few days ago where I was uh, filtering by two things for the same column like uh, uh, let's say for example CDID is 101228 and, and 101229 and it wasn't giving me the expected results so when I did this I did a new calculus table I copied the filter part and then I realized I was mis misspelling them so uh, you could I mean you can see that it's not returning the right results and then you just can debug easily So once you have uh, the new uh, table, uh, then the only thing you need to do is uh, either you can make a copy of this, duplicate, and once you have it there, then you can start just changing um, the parameters. For example, you have page title, page build, and goal completions from leads, then we will take page titles, page views, Ooh, don't remember which one wrong page views and goal completions so and so on and so forth so you don't need to build exactly by scratch you can still copy it good I hope uh, you enjoyed this video uh, if you have any comments um, questions let me know and uh, if you like the video please uh, like it uh, comment or subscribe and hope you have a really nice day bye